Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today I've got uh, some new features to show off uh, using Magnet Axiom. So traditionally we've always supported uh, memory images uh, from computers and uh, been able to uh, look for artifacts in them uh, like such as private web browsing or OS artifacts that you can carve from memory or even files uh, that we've been able to pull from memory. We've actually added some additional capabilities around memory forensics. Um, we've integrated uh, the ability to run volatility scans uh, directly into uh, Axiom as well. So you get the uh, art, traditional artifacts, memory artifacts that uh, Axiom uh, has always pulled, but we've also added the volatility capabilities as well. So uh, let's take a look at what that looks like and uh, how to load those memory images into Axiom. So uh, I've got Axiom up and running here, process. Uh, we've got evidence sources. If I go to computer and load evidence, you can see we've got the, the standard uh, sources here, but we've also got a new one called memory. So if I choose memory here, I can choose to load a memory dump file in. And if I browse to uh, memory image, uh, this is just a, a Windows 7 uh, uh, memory dump. It's a, it's a VMEM file, um, but we support a number of different raw type uh, image formats. Uh, the VMEM's good if you've got a VMDK or uh, a virtual machine that you, you pulled memory from. I do that quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to load this in, um, but uh, the format's uh, pretty, pretty much the same for any of them. If I hit open, First thing you get to choose is um, if you want to run the image scan info. Um, so this is a Windows 7 image. Usually the Windows 7 or earlier images are pretty quick. Anything Windows 8 or Windows 10 will take longer. So if I, uh, if I already know the profile I want to use for uh, um, volatility, I can select my own profile. Or if I want uh, process to run the image info and, uh, and guess what, uh, what profile to select, we can let Axiom do that for us. So I'll let Axiom do it for me. I'll hit next. And it'll take a minute here. Uh, it'll probably take a couple of minutes to actually run. And basically, uh, if you've used volatility before, it's the same sort of process. It came up pretty quickly there. It's actually suggesting Windows 2008 uh, R2. I know that's incorrect uh, for this one. It's never perfect, but uh, um, what it'll do is, I know it's a, it's a Windows 7 SP1, and I, I'll just uh, select that one there. And uh, we can see the profile that uh, I, I'd like to use for it. Now, if you wanna look at some advanced info, you can see uh, some additional advanced info there. Um, now, this is really important, more so when you get to the Windows 8 or Windows 10 images. It's got to run the image info and the KD, KDGB scan um, that uh, you would need to do to, uh, to map this to a proper uh, um, profile. Now, window, like I said, Windows 8 or Windows 10 systems do take significantly longer because of this. So you could be waiting up to an hour or so. Again, very similar. If you've used volatility before, it'd be a similar process. It's just built right in this way. So I'm going to leave the, uh, the Windows 7 one here. I'm going to hit next. And it gets queued up just like another source um, for, for Axiom. And we can continue to add the computer or mobile or cloud data associated to it. If you've got uh, the computer image uh, alongside it, you can analyze them together as well. I'll just keep the memory uh, in there as a single source. I'll skip all the processing details because they're all the same. And if, but if I go down to computer artifacts, you can see you've got all the traditional computer artifacts around chat, cloud, documents, email, you name it sort of thing. It's, it's a standard artifacts. Um, but we've also got this new one called memory and you can see these are the specific um, volatility plugins that uh, we will run we don't run them all there's they're not all available to to us um, but most of the ones the, the more popular ones that you might want to run there's uh, processes or uh, PS list so we give it a name and then we also give the uh, the actual uh, what it's called in volatility in brackets underneath so uh, PS list there um, you can see there's uh, the modules malfine connection socket scan stuff Stuff like that um, you can uh, you can go through and, and select them I'll leave them all on there I'll leave all the artifacts there as well hit analyze evidence and it would start uh, start processing for us first thing that happens is it will run and look for the regular artifacts just like our regular artifact search so again stuff like um, link files carving those um, from memory event logs private browsing activity, anything we can carve from memory. This is your traditional um, Axiom artifacts. Um, and you can see the thread details, it'll process through there. Now, once it's finished that, it'll get about halfway through and then it'll flip over to the volatility plugins. So you get those processes, network connections and all of that running right afterwards as well. And they actually run in uh, in parallel. So the more you more threads you have available, the more it'll run. It will run several instances of it. So um, I'll pause the video here and come back to when that starts. 
Okay, the, uh, the, the carving or the carve search, uh, artifact search is completed and it's moved on to the volatility scan. Uh, like I said, it, it took about three minutes, three and a half minutes to do the, uh, uh, the, the initial search and then we're doing the volatility scan. If I look at the thread details here, you can see the volatility uh, um, uh, plugins running and you can see some of them are completing as they go through. And the nice thing here is you're running them all at once. Um, so that'll save you some time. Uh, at the end, it'll it'll go through. And as those complete, once they all complete, we'll be able to look at the data. Um, I've already completed it for us. So if I move over to Axiom Examine, we can skip right ahead and take a look. This is the the, the completed case. Uh, we can see we've got uh, the, the memory there. You can see there's a lot of memory artifacts, 33,000 memory artifacts, along with a whole bunch of other ones. So let's take a look at those. Go to Artifacts. And we can see now we've got a whole bunch of them in there. So let's jump right to the memory ones because uh, we've already seen all the other types of uh, artifacts before. Um, you can see now we can uh, take a look at actually all the plugins that might have run. Uh, you can see file scan, API hooks there, hidden processes. Um, so if I click on any one of those, you can see you'll get a list of processes, uh, process names, process IDs, uh, plists. If it was existed in plists, it, it, it exists in PS scan. And uh, this is really helpful to, uh, to identify if it came in PS list but not in or came in PS scan but not in PS list it may be a deleted or uh, um, missing uh, uh, process uh, that might be of interest to your investigation so uh, that can be really helpful uh, you get basic image info um, that we ran at the uh, onset there uh, PS scan uh, there's the the, the PS scan details. So again, just like in anything else in uh, uh, in Axiom, uh, you get the uh, the stuff listed there. You can sort by uh, process ID. Uh, you get the parent process ID. You can do filtering so, uh, or anything like that. You can do uh, time related uh, sorting and filtering as well. And this is just integrates really well with the rest of your uh, your artifacts that you might get if you had the additional computer image or anything like that. So this can just help build out a timeline of uh, of activity on. The system. So that's everything I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.